Can King Charles do a good job? Well, now that the spectacle of the Queen's uh, funeral is over, it's sensible to reflect on whether or not the new monarch will do a good job. First of all, let's recap the basic facts. He's uh, 73 years old. He's in quite good health, so he'll probably last quite a long time before his eldest son, William, takes over the throne. Uh, and despite his lavish and privileged living arrangements, he's lived a life which has sometimes been difficult. He attended a brutal public school, which seems to have left permanent scars on him. Uh, his grandfather that he never had, as he called him, Lord Mountbatten, was killed in an IRA uh, terrorist attack. He was vilified for his treatment of his wife Diana and the ongoing affair with uh, Camilla, now his queen consort. But he seems to be a man concerned with the great issues of the day, and he's an amiable chap with an equal, equally uh, amiable wife. So the question of what kind of king he will make really depends almost entirely on what you think a king should do, and, and particularly whether you favor the continuation of the uh, monarchy. Republicans, of course, are doubtful, and monarchists can virtually see no wrong. <laughs> so let's look at the arguments. First of all, what about those who say, yes, he will, he'll do a good job? Well, uh, those who look kindly and optimistically about the reign of Charles III uh, will point out that he's a thoughtful inf individual, he's comfortable in the company of people from all walks of life. Uh, he started and championed the Prince's Trust, which looks after people who've had a tough time in life and which and in which, incidentally, I was an advisor for some years. Uh, the, the trust has been around for about 50 years. It's helped many people start businesses, get their lives in better shape. What could be better than that? Um, perhaps most notably, he's an ardent environmentalist. Uh, and he's been speaking out on the subject uh, for decades, in some respects ahead of almost everybody else. A few issues are more important when you think about it, and he's known to be at the, at the center of this one. That bodes very well for his reign. Um, his experience in preparation for the job is enormous. As Prince of Wales, he sh has been shadowing the Queen for many decades, clearly knows what's involved in the role of the monarch, and is as well prepared as possible for the job. He's an amiable chap. Uh, he's very presentable. He'll represent the nation well. Uh, his wife, uh, Camilla, the Queen Consort, has emerged as a pleasant and gracious personality in her own right and will be an excellent partner to him in his new role. And Charles is aware that there is some criticism about the monarchy and its cost. And he has pledged to take steps to slim it down. <laughs> Uh, which will be an enormously popular move if he does that. It'll be an enormously popular move with the public at large, especially during these hard times. He gets it. Uh, in short, he's bound to do a good job. Well, what about the no group? What about those who say, no, he can't do a good job? Uh, many of them are uh, Republicans who oppose the monarchy to begin with. So they would automatically uh, think he couldn't do a good job because we shouldn't have one in the first place. Uh, and others of them uh, see his own personality to be a problem, possibly one unsuitable for the job. Uh, he's always been vociferous about issues that are important to him, and he's got a record of trying to intervene in government initiatives. Uh, he's been a prolific letter writer, uh, lobbying government ministers, something which is more or less forbidden since the glorious revolution in 1688. Does he know about that? <laughs> uh, and the signing of the Bill of Rights. Since then, the king has been without power and has been told to keep his ideas to himself. Charles won't, and that will cause trouble. Uh, Charles was an unabashed adulterer and continued his relationship with Camilla during most of his marriage to Diana. Uh, to many people, that's just unacceptable. Uh, that goes against their fundamental principles of the way you ought to live a life. It's certainly one that compromises the idea of the monarchy uh, and the sovereign setting any sort of standards for the nation. 
Um, his career as a senior royal has been plagued by scandals. Uh, the relationship with the awful Jimmy Savile was at best stupid and naive. And more recently, there have been uh, cash for honors allegations against him and his foundation, bags full of cash arriving from Arab potentates on more than one occasion. <laughs> Good grief. People are fed up with his lavish lifestyle. It, it is simply inappropriate in the modern era. It's more medieval, really. And in particular, at a time when the nation and many of its citizens are in real financial difficulty. Charles is the wrong man for the job, uh, wrong man to be king, and he won't do a good job. Well, that's a pretty tough uh, reading. Uh, so what's my take on it? Well, here it is. Uh, Charles is up against it. Um, he realizes on the one hand that majesty and grandeur are the abiding hallmarks of the monarchy because they really have little else to offer the nation. Uh, but these things are expensive and clearly inappropriate in the current economic climate and there's increasing disquiet about it. He has to deal with that. He himself has always lived lavishly uh, so that it will be personally difficult for him to do that. He will pay lip service and probably not much more. Discontent will continue. And on a similar vein, it's clear that the monarchy is becoming richer and richer at the nation's expense, owing to a soft settlement deal done in the past by the, uh, by the, by the government of the day. There is even suspicion that they are evading taxation and scrutiny through hidden funds abroad. The government will eventually depend, demand transparency and scrutiny, and that will be tough. I wouldn't want to be in his position. It will be hard for him to do a good job. Well, some of you may like that, others may hate it, but there it is. <laughs> That's what I think. Uh, for a few similar things, take a look at some of these other videos. Uh, subscribe, please, and thanks a lot. Bye-bye.